Ooh, what a meal. All right, everyone, time for the football game. Yeah, oh, boy, sweet. I love football. 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 Uh, football. 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 Mmm, football. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, football. 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 Oh, but football. This is boring. Can we turn on something else? Yes, please, anything. I thought it would never end. Hmm. I know just the thing. Good, you're back. I'm Neom, and today's episode is about Thanksgiving traditions. Please remember to leave a like. Blah, oh, great. Blah, blah, leave blah, a like. Blah, 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 He's one of those. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get into it. We all know about the usual traditions, like getting together with friends and family, watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, or sitting in a circle and saying what you're thankful for. Some of you have your own original traditions that you keep with your close friends and family. Let me know your unique traditions in the comments. But this video is about some of the Thanksgiving Day traditions that are a little more... stupid. Like turkey pardoning. Turkey pardoning is a day just before Thanksgiving every year whereon the President of the United States saves one specific turkey from being eaten that year, and it's sent off to a hand-picked farm to live out the rest of its days. Its history is a bit convoluted, with many sources disagreeing with one another on details. But the point is, somehow it came to be an actual thing, being honored every year by whichever president presides at the time. What I want to know is, who chose to call it pardoning? Like, do they always pick a turkey that has somehow affronted the commander-in-chief? Like it looked at him sideways or something? Duh, turkeys are monocular. They can only look at you sideways. Or is it just that we assume turkeys have some inerrant knavery that can only be purged by presidential pardon? Gobble gobble. And we hereby forgive you for, uh, for being a turkey. Am I supposed to even know what that means? What, am I supposed to be grateful? I'm a turkey. I mean, gobble. Turkey pardoning is weird enough, but have you ever heard of turkey bowling? A night shift supermarket employee in the 1980s was fascinated with how well a frozen butterball would roll across the ground. So he set up some two-liter bottles as pins at one end of an aisle and sent the turkey hurtling towards them. Now I'll admit, this sounds way more fun than regular bowling but it really should have happened once and then been left back in the 80s at the grocery store where it belonged. And what should have been, hey, you were seen greasing up a turkey carcass and chucking it down aisle 9, you're fired, turned into, hey, it was a gross violation of health codes and we can't sell these fizzed up 2 liters now, but full points for creativity, let's make it a national tradition. And I know what you're thinking, but you're wrong. A turkey in bowling, three strikes in a row, isn't related to this event whatsoever. In fact, the term predates turkey bowling by about a hundred years, when competitors would win prizes based on how many strikes in a row they got. I know, right? I can't believe bowling has lasted that long either. Perhaps even more atrocious than sliding a frozen turkey down a hundred feet of dirty linoleum is dancing with it before it's dead. Apparently, some of you are out there putting on the Ritz with your farm-raised mega chicken before it's even dead and plucked and you're putting in the Ritz. This is almost exactly the opposite of turkey pardoning. Instead of letting it go and finding a new one, you force it to sing and dance with you about its own slaughtering. And what do you think the turkeys would say about that? Gobble gobble. See what I mean? What, you don't talk turkey? Next is the fancy tradition. My own name for it. The tradition of breaking out the fine china and expensive silverware for Thanksgiving because it's an important holiday and one shouldn't disrespect all the good food by putting it onto cheap paper plates. I'm sorry, what? If you want to put your green beans and cornbread on a fancy dish, then go ahead. But making it mandatory? If my plate isn't stained red with cranberry sauce and soggy with gravy by the time I'm done, then I don't want it. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Subscribe for more content. So, can we make this a Thanksgiving tradition? I'm Neom, and I'll see you next time.